So we're just going to have a quick look on how to calibrate a machinist level. This particular level we have here is the Starrett 9812. However, the basic process is identical for all machinist levels. So first thing you want to do is make sure you find a nice flat surface. Uh, here we have a machined granite. This is a kitchen worktop. Now what you're calibrating from this surface here does not need to be perfectly level. However, it is important that it's a nice flat surface. So ideally you want something machined uh, like our granite worktop here, or if you've got like a steel workbench or something like that, that's also ideal. But you don't want to be trying to calibrate something like this using something that has flexibility in it, such as wood. So make sure you have a nice solid and flat surface. Remember, it doesn't have to be level and then start the calibration process. What you want to do is put your machinist level on the uh, surface here and what you're looking for is just uh, for your bubble to be anywhere uh, in the gauge it does not have to be center remember our level our surface here does not need to be level but we need to be somewhere on the gauge you don't want the bubble right the way off the gauge if it is if you kind of spin it around sometimes it will change the level a little bit so you want to get it to a position where you have the bubble that's somewhere uh, in the uh, in the gauge right here so you don't want the bubble off of the end of the level so as long as you're in the center there like we are here that's perfect now to calibrate this level what we're going to do is we're going to spin it end on end so we're going to turn it around 180 degrees and we need to get it so that the reading is identical in both directions however to allow us to do that it's important that we get the level placed in exactly the same spot when we spin it around so it's a good idea to take some decorators tape run that across the bottom, mark that off, and then again up the side, so you've got a nice square to level it up to. Or alternatively, even better, I have a uh, framing square here. So I'll level that up with the uh, base of the level. Now I'll also, I'll take that in place to make sure that that can't move. Now I need to take a mental note of exactly where this bubble is sat. And in my particular example, I'm exactly two graduations off center to my right. So I take the level, spin it 180 degrees, line it back up exactly where it was before, and then give the uh, bubble just a couple of seconds to settle. I can see straight away that my two graduations, the bubble slightly passed my two graduations, so we definitely need to make an adjustment on this level. So I'm just going to double check it. So I'll spin it back to where it was originally. I'll just double check it before I make my calibration adjustment. Yeah, and just as before, I'm two graduations uh, off of a center, uh, 10 thousandths of an inch uh, to the right hand side there. So this definitely needs calibration. Now the method to calibrate the level uh, can vary a little bit depending on the particular model. On some levels, you often have a little screw uh, with a cap on it. You can just lift the uh, cap off and make a small adjustment on the screw. What we have here on the Starrett 98 is we have a couple of uh, nuts here. We've got one uh, above the vial casing just here and another just below. And the upper nut is just keeping everything locked in place. So what we need to do is uh, undo that and then we're gonna use the lower nut to raise it up and down to get it level. And then once we're happy, we'll lock it back in place with the upper nut. So we'll go ahead and get the upper nut undone. We'll spin the uh, level around a few times, take a note of the reading. That's gonna tell you uh, whether this end here needs to move up or down uh, to make it level. An important thing to remember when you're making your adjustments is you have to even out whatever the difference is when you spin it uh, by exactly halfway so that when you spin it around you're going to end up hopefully with the same measurement just over one and a half to the right this one is give it a second that's two and a half to the right and as you might imagine the uh, adjustments that you need to make are very very small Just keep adjusting it till it looks about right. Take a note of that reading. And again, just spin it around, check it in the opposite orientation. This, this process can be a little bit tricky. So just take your time with it. Just remember what you're trying to do is you're trying to get it to match 100%. So you get exactly the same reading in both orientations. So I'm very, very close just here. I don't know how well this will show up on the camera, but I've got it now. So it's just a hair over 
the uh, second, the ten thousandths past uh, centre, which is the second increment uh, past the main one there. And when I rotate it around the other way, put it back, give that bubble uh, a couple of seconds to settle. Uh, we're now getting in, getting it in exactly the same position. So we now know that the machinist level is correctly calibrated. Uh, but always make sure you double check it uh, after tightening up the locking nut. And so that's how to calibrate a machinist level. If this video has been helpful for you, can you be sure to at least hit that like button for us? It really helps us out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.